this one satellite receiver battery charger satellite receiver satellite receiver led tv a tv circuit all of them have same power supply same phenomena same procedure there is nothing at all different in any power supply just the design the shape may be different but the procedure is the same i will go step by step every power supply here we give 220 volt in switching mode we can give 80 volt to 240 volt protection filter circuit then any power supply this have lc filter circuit then any power supply we will compare our power supplies with this and we will make troubleshooting every power supply it has rectifier circuit here i applied ac here ac here ac here dc i have a chopper circuit what is chopper circuit it is voltage controlled oscillator or pulse width modulator we can say any component are used in this stage they are either vco and pulse width modulator here is isolation transformer this circuit input circuit here we will discuss output circuit take one supply two supplies three supplies many how much supplies it need it's up, up to requirement of the circuit but the basic principle is here okay here i will follow to one stage here it is a rectifier the next sometime it is regulator and the from this or this sometime he will take output from here sometime from here from here or here here is feedback circuit this circuit gives feedback to this circuit that there is nothing wrong with this circuit if this circuit is working properly this circuit will work properly if here any problem this will give a signal to chopper circuit if here is any problem it will stop this circuit what is here here is opto coupler from regulator we take output 220 volt input 80, 80 volt to 240 volt protection circuit what is the protection circuit we will see here i will start from this circuit if i come to this socket i have two pins okay if i see here one line it is coming directly to this pin what is here if i see here is fuse after fuse if we see opposite side here is fuse from here to here fuse it is written f1 100 now current will pass from here to here here I make input fuse output the second line the second line coming here yes on the same point if we say it is coming to this it is written VA101 voltage arrestor voltage arrestor what will happen here I applied 220 volt if there is more voltage than 240 suppose we can say 400 volt instead of 220 400 volt this will make short circuit this will burn out it will make short circuit when it is short circuit our current flow from this path when this path the fuse will burn out immediately so the next circuit will be protected so if we have lightning arrestor it is also for over voltage or lightning arrestor now from the fuse if we say from here fuse from the fuse there is another component it will sense the over current if there is any short circuit in the circuit okay it is also safety if the circuit will draw over current same line it is also working 
from here it is for overcurrent this fuse overcurrent the same line overcurrent this for over voltage safety here if we say here is a capacitor this is filter capacitor if then we come to this point after that current passing from here it is stopped here from this it is stopped here we will see what is this component it is a inductor our circuit stops here then current will have to pass through the inductor current will pass from this inductor where is this inductor we can see from here it will enter and it will pass through to the other end it will pass to the other end there is another filter so come to the block diagram protection circuit what we found here VA fuse thyristor we find three item here we finished from here in this power supply if I come to other power supply and anyway, we, we will take any one power supply if I come to this power supply I have two input terminals this here fuse from fuse when this current will pass to this terminal from this terminal here it will stop here this line will come to here a capacitor it is for filtration and the both lines it removes the harmonics for ready frequency here I have a same inductor two lines inductor inductor installed in two lines this protects for surge current okay from here this line comes here here and this line from here passing from the inductor to other side we will come here what is here here is a bridge circuit here the same we discussed LC filter that was a simple supply it's power supply this power supply is best it have more safeties passing through this there is capacitor there is another filter from here it current it has isolation here we can see here from here to here this is filter from here to here this is filter when it will pass through filter LC filter LC 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 inductor capacitor inductor capacitor two stage filter one filter two filter some power supplies like uh, are cheaper satellite receivers they have just one stage the best power supplies for LED or for the TVs they have dual filter like this what I am showing if we see this power supply this line is coming here this line coming here okay when we come here there is a capacitor harmonics from here this line here it is a fuse from fuse this is coming to same lines parallel lines we see here is a circuit disconnected okay here if we see two line filter this one line this second line it have four terminals one two three four I will set it to continuity here I will apply a one line this line is shorted here shorted if we see here is a break but it is reading it is inductor so if the fuse is good I have a this circuit is working it should be open it should be open if it is short circuit that means we have heavy voltage strike on the board the same time if I will go to this circuit here I have input terminal from input terminal I have to go to the fuse this is fuse so I will pick another power supply here it is input terminal it is THZ01 
we can see we have this line here okay here is voltage arrestor SV1 if we have here is voltage arrestor removed from this power supply voltage arrestor has been removed okay we will come to this power supply this line is line it is going to fuse oh another example this resistor fuse resistor here is capacitor here is capacitor here is cap inductor okay then it will go to a bridge AC AC this will give us DC DC will go to a capacitor positive negative we will complete our subject here very careful it is live circuit it have 220 volt AC but the most dangerous that is DC volt we set it to AC okay line common volt and common so here I will check to show you a circuit here I have 220 volt AC 230 volt AC these two point here I have 230 volt now from passing through fuse if fuse is damaged I cannot find this voltage at this point now everything is working so 230 volt available this line fuse after fuse capacitor I will check this this voltage at the both side of inductor 230 volt after that the same line I will check the output of inductor it is okay now I will come to the second inductor second coil because this phase are neutral here it is AC here I have AC now there is a bridge circuit every bridge circuit it have four terminal here this cut it have positive output terminal here and it will be connected to the capacitor positive terminal capacitor have negative and positive terminal the cut side if we will put this number in front of side and the cut is at left side so this first terminal it is positive output terminal positive positive terminal ground sorry positive terminal AC AC and this negative terminal so this negative terminal should be connected to the capacitor negative terminal see this this negative terminal so I can check voltage DC voltage either and the output terminal of the of the bridge or I can check on the capacitor so in this circuit I have two capacitors it have 350 volt plus DC voltage here I have AC until now I have at this point I have AC 230 volt but now I have from this stage I started DC so I have to select DC because here is four terminals for bridge circuit one two three four okay one one two three four so if we see this terminal this terminal is connected to here this point and this terminal it is connected to here if we see this terminal this point is at the same terminal and from here I have one line that is written here positive plus sign if this is plus sign so this is negative sign this line it is connected to this capacitor and this capacitor this line capacitor connected to this capacitor and this capacitor so I will check voltage I selected multimeter at DC amazing it is 331 volt because it have a very good filter 
so it is 330 volt sometimes this volt this volt go to up to 360 volt 380 volt DC okay from DC this volt we will go forward okay this this okay this line now we have a chopper circuit we have a chopper circuit we will discuss in this session first I have to disconnect power another safety I have removed the plug but the capacitors are holding charge never touch this capacitor maybe if there is a fault it is now it is going down maybe if it have open circuit this capacitor will hold charge and it can give a very bad shock it can give a very bad very bad shock because it is retaining charge it is holding charge it is charged until you have to uh, discharge it by you can use any part any metallic part and you can make short circuit with these two pins and you have before touching this we have to verify the voltage oh it is now still 150 volt it is decreasing so let's so when you are working with this never touch to this area and there is another third one this one okay friends it was bridge circuit this bridge rectifier okay from the bridge rectifier I have two capacitors I have voltage here okay now what what is there as I discussed I have a voltage a rectifier circuit until the, this we checked here are DC 330 volt DC here are 230 volt AC here is AC here is 230 AC when we pass through rectifier it will give 330 volt DC now we will see the chopper chopper first it makes regulation what is the function any chopper it will sense the voltage at the output terminal it will sense the current at the output terminal and it will make pulse width modulate so it will compensate our load effect loading effect until a certain limits it will make a good regulation by increasing increasing or decreasing its pulse width at the after bridge I have 330 volt DC the same circuit is here here I have one capacitor because this circuit is small I have one capacitor 450 volt it will give about 350 volt 330 volt DC if I see this capacitor this circuit it have the same input terminal inductor fuse it have the same capacitor but is a tiny small size it is 400 volt it will give about 330 volt at the same point after that we are going to discuss chopper circuit if I come to here here is also a bridge circuit bridge rectifier which I will be discussed here he make bridge from these diodes if we don't find voltage here at this capacitor at this capacitor at uh, this capacitor at these capacitors or uh, this capacitor so we have problem behind we have problem where in this area filter circuit and bridge circuit 
this is filter circuit bridge circuit if I don't find voltage here if I don't find voltage here at this point this 330 volt not available problem is in this area we can check fuse we can check thyristor we can check protection circuit we can check if any line open if we discuss this circuit if this thyristor, thyristor is okay then voltage will pass from this if it is broken from inside it will cut this path because no current will flow from this circuit so we cannot find voltage here so if we know if we have no voltage here the problem is in this area the problem is in this area so we have to troubleshoot this area any component here maybe one line from this inductor is damaged one line from this inductor is damaged maybe fuse maybe thyristor so some components it is a good idea if I don't have voltage here if I don't have voltage here I have to go in this area okay if I don't voltage here problem in this area any mobile charger any energy saver circuit any computer power supply any television power supply TV circuit I have removed capacitor from here if I no, don't find voltage here at this capacitor the problem in this area the problem in this area here I have a bridge circuit diodes I will discuss uh, discussing about chopper circuit chopper circuit as I told it will sense output voltage output current temperature based on these items and input voltage input voltage it will check output voltage input voltage output current temperature of the circuit based on these items it will change the output and if there is short circuit the feedback circuit will turn off or set to off condition to the chopper what is chopper chopper is a IC chopper is IC pulse width modulator or VCO voltage controlled oscillator it is voltage controlled oscillator it will give a reference we will give a reference voltage and based on this reference voltage it will change the output the circuit will make sense from the all boards and it will give a feedback okay we will check feedback here it is a opto coupler this one every switching power supply it have this opto coupler we see this circuit is separate this circuit is separate there is no connection between these two two circuits just only a feedback circuit and this transformer this transformer we will see all this all circuits if I see this here is a line it means this circuit is separate okay this first power supply the second power supply if I come here we can see a big cut just only this primary side of the transformer this is called chopper transformer and this is output terminal output side of the oh sorry I'm wrong I am wrong this yes this IC this IC chopper IC it, it will chop DC voltage into it will make a, a pulsating uh, DC ripples for this transformer and this trans ripples will induct to the other side okay this supply it have cut here this cut here okay if we come here here I have a disconnection so this disconnected disconnected just only this IC 
this IC, feedback IC. If I come here, here is a feedback, feedback IC. If I come to this circuit, here is feedback IC. Here if we see, there is a big transformer and 1 pin, 2 pin, 3 pin, 4 pins. This, if we see, there is a dotted line which differentiate that this area is separate, this area is separate. Very nice. Let's explain what is chopper. I take DC voltage from here. This negative line, okay. This positive line. If I connect this line to this line, suppose it is example. I have if I have transistor BJT, UJT, FET, sometime and channel and channel MOSFET sometime and channel enhancement mod FET anything just he have to make here I have DC it have to make ripples because from transformer DC cannot pass to the other side so I have here some source driving and it is called pulse width modulator circuit uh, let me show you if I will come to this we, I will upload a separate video for pulse, pulse width modulator circuit so let me explain this IC this will control the switching we say switching mod power supply so here is switching function it makes switching close on off on off on off on off on off like this this circuit this IC and these components these are responsible for switching if there is any any component short in this area any component short in this area this will inhibit the circuit this will disable the circuit this is feedback circuit here is a transistor which is biased at a specific value and it will sense one line one output of the circuit if that output is available and it have no load so it this optocoupler will give ok signal that means if we see if we see this line it is connected to ground ah there is yes, this is ground from the capacitor this positive line this ground if we see this line is connected to optocoupler but this line it is connected directly to the IC pin number 3 yeah so if there is short circuit in this area either this one is bad either optocoupler is bad optocoupler never fail this never fail the problem we have here if we problem here we have here this area it will give a fail okay I will come here in this circuit here I have a chopper from chopper and if I see there is nothing connecting just only this so if we see this component it is IC2 if we say we I will describe I will describe how it is functioning 
if you see it have inside oh here is diagram uh, of the circuit it have LED inside and a phototransistor inside this circuit is connected connected by the light when there is voltage available in this area here if we see this transistor in the other there was another transistor but here it is SND transistor if this transistor is bad this optocoupler no give light to this junction and it will not work and it will cut off the circuit okay I told you the principle is same in all circuits the principle will same maybe some components will different here I have this IC I have this IC if I go to this circuit I have this IC oh this IC but here I have different type if I come to this circuit I have this IC okay if I come to this circuit it have this IC if I come to this circuit there is no IC ah so nice here is no IC here is only this MOSFET and it is taking direct feedback from the transformer output oh nice yes it is taking output from the same circuit it is taking the back oscillation from this circuit if there is any short circuit and it will draw more current it will cut the output of the FET so I told you the function is same maybe some component will different so here he is using just only FET and this circuit this is VCO circuit voltage controlled oscillator circuit okay we will see here what is here here is the same technology and if we see this and this and this so now come to the point here he is using this component this component this component and capacitor here he is using this component this component this component and capacitor but there is no IC if we see this circuit he is using IC in this circuit he is using IC in this circuit it is using IC in this circuit there is IC if I come this side there is no IC just the small IC is driving the FET this FET and it will connect it to the transformer like here so our subject is here I give you examples many examples how there is a changes in the circuit but the basic fun phenomena is the same number one mobile charger battery chargers any type of battery charger computer power supply television power supply LED TV power supply LCD TV power supply this LED TV circuit TV power supply circuit if we don't have power supply so that means the problem in this area so now I will check the output voltage of the circuit and I will show you how they are working I have to complete this function here maybe one line two line three it is, depends upon any circuit how many outputs it needs okay I will just take one circuit here he will use one diode He will take this positive negative here he will use one diode negative positive every circuit uh, sorry capacitor one diode every circuit it is in the same and from here it will take maybe he will install some regulator 
if I come here to this diagram after transformer he is taking rectifier and feedback the same here okay now I have applied power to this circuit I will give a close view to the circuit and we will see yes as I discussed we will check voltage here here I have 330 volt this negative terminal this negative terminal it is coming here at this stage okay now it is switching at high frequency it switches at very high frequency we can go to data sheet I will discuss about data sheet I hope so so after that it is taking this line we see one two three these three outputs are connected together three lines and we have one line here it have jumper jumper is connected to this line okay I have one line here and it is connected to this diode uh, yes here is a diode okay we can check this line in this power supply I have voltage from here this line and it is taking from output this line to this area and here is a capacitor one and two capacitors I can check voltage on the capacitors I have two capacitors here this is giving me 78 volt oh that's nice it's working I have if I don't have voltage here maybe I have problem in this area any component bad here in this area this optocoupler optocoupler will cut the drive optocoupler will cu cut the drive of this IC this optocoupler will cut the drive of this circuit so if I will try to rotate because it is very dangerous while making video we can see here are two capacitors one and two and this is diode this one is diode it's back to back diode double diode this special diode it makes high voltage rectifications so on these two capacitors these are two parallel 78 volt okay so this power supply I will check the output there are diodes one diode two diodes and this capacitor I will check output at this capacitor here I have to check the output it is giving me 3.5 volt 3.4 volt this processor voltage okay okay if this voltage are missing because optocoupler is connected in this area if this 3.7 volt are not available this will make off so this voltage are available so other power supplies it will not care it will monitor just only the processor voltage this because processor voltage are very important in any circuit so I will check another voltage on this capacitor I will check now ah, yes close view so here I don't have output I have output here on this capacitor I have I have one power supply available the other power supply I don't have so the problem in this area specific area so maybe this diode maybe anything in this area we can find a fault so friends if this video satisfies you and it gives a good information for you don't hesitate to subscribe my channel and you can share this video and if you have any question any question feel free to ask me in YouTube comments comments or you can 
follow me at Haseeb Elect. Haseeb Elect on Facebook. Or you can follow my page at Ashraf for TA Facebook and in YouTube this address YouTube Facebook Haseeb Elect and you can also find my videos at you can find my videos at YouTube Haseeb Elect it is for Haseeb Electronics and you can search Chaukazam Ashra for TA1 or TA Ashra for TA, TA1 so thanks for watching video